Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. And uh, no, oh my God, sorry, no uh, indictments for us. Very depressing. No indictments. So depressing. How do we cope? How do we cope? Wow. Wow. Yeah, no, I'm just looking, guys. I'm just looking at, um, say hello to everybody. I, I don't need to say your names, like, because I feel like some people get, um, it's a little awkward, right, if I just say out your names, but it's, 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 uh, it's good to see you. Okay. So, oh my God, what happened here? Just, okay. So, oh my God. My there's a poor, yeah. So, okay. This is my San Pellegrino lemonade. It's kind of, it's good. So anyway, so guys, it's crazy. It's funny. I'm working on something else. So it's kind of actually nice to take a, to, it's like not, you know, it's doing something else very different. So it's nice to not be so addicted to the news because it's so addictive. Okay. So I don't know. It's, it's insane. Okay. It's crazy. Well, hi guys. No, it's just, there's so, it's, it's funny, you know, on the one hand, it feels like I was really expecting something to happen on Friday. And now that it didn't, it's like, uh, what if nothing happens? But I, it feels like it's increasingly out of control. Right. And, uh, it feels that, um, now he said that he wants to fire everyone. Sounds like hi, mayor. Hi, everyone. Right. That I, I haven't talked to you, uh, but the North Korea, wait, what North Korea news is it? Diane, what is the North Korea news? So addictive right there. Yeah. But we talked about it in the last time that the, the, he taught, you know, you know how he talked about meeting with him. He also talked about meeting with Mueller. He talks, like he talks about all this stuff, you know what I mean? I feel like I don't know that he's gonna do anything. It's more like a, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I saw that, but it was like somebody, I was watching the news, someone said, look, I remember, how, saw, did you see how they were in the garden, almost like in the parking lot? Yeah, I saw that Trump, uh, Patty Joe saying, did you hear it? Trump is trying to hire Clinton's impeachment lawyer. I mean, can you imagine? I'm sorry. What kind of person after calling Clinton all kinds of names constantly like, hey, are you available? Um, I'm just wondering if perhaps, uh, can you imagine? It's amazing. So anyway, um, it's like, yeah, I don't get it. It's like, don't get, don't get started. Yeah. So I just feel like I was gonna say just lost the, the third. So yeah, I don't think honestly, guys, like the whole this whole thing is I believe that it's a distraction. Okay, the whole thing with I know it's like a lot of people are like um are pushing, you know, really believe that something's gonna happen. I really I just feel like it's a distraction, another distraction, something that sounds scarier because the truly the truth, they don't want to hear, they don't want to talk about it, okay? Because imagine if Okay, let's, I, I wrote, like I wrote on the post, imagine if we had like a normal president, okay? So, well, we don't know, guys. Diana is saying it is, but it messed with the indictments yesterday. Well, we don't know. We don't know what the story is. There there must be a lot going on, okay? So, exactly, who's going to take a client not famous for not being his? And also being a horrible person because he could ruin, imagine if you have a client like Trump, like he, he expects 24-hour devotion, and he treats you like garbage. And all those those big lawyers, they're not, they have big egos too. So it's not like they, they would be willing to, to deal with somebody like him. And they know that he's guilty. What are they going to do? Yeah, but I don't think he wants the truth, guys. That's the thing. He does not want a lawyer who's going to tell him the truth. That's, you know, that's the thing. And all the lawyers that he has are like borderline, I mean, criminals and borderline criminals. I mean, that guy, Michael Cohen, come on. Hello. So, so anyway, okay, so. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's terrible. Yes, <laughs> I don't know. So, so anyway, me? Well, I don't know what Diane is saying. Yes, me, who are you? 
doesn't like to pay people exactly Cohen. Michael Cohen, oh my God. Oh, it's an yes. He know who? Says who? Says who? Can you imagine a person? Says who? Says who? Oh my God. So, okay, guys. So, okay, let me try. try to, okay, well, this is what I was, I was saying. I was just to complete the, the train of thought about North Korea and Trump. So, basically, as as things get serious with the Russia thing, A, in terms of the obvious inter election interference, and B, the whole thing that happened in England. Uh, when you when we brought up this issue before, like I said, I did not want to talk about it because I don't want to, it's very, uh, yeah, it's really, it's, uh, anyway, as you know, I don't, I don't need to get into the details about this, but what's s r remarkable is that they really, 19 British people got hurt, like policemen and anybody who helped out, okay? So I wonder, because imagine if you were a normal president, they would be like, there would be something happening, it would be a quote, like, boom, right away. So because they don't know where the U.S. stands, they don't want, you know, uh, so, no, Theresa May, no, I don't think, yeah, hi, guys. So it's just very sad because a, what is not, we know that, right? Not, it's not, nobody here is surprised. Hi, Marilyn. Hi. So, so it's basically hard to prove. No, it's probably not hard. Actually, no, because those kinds of things, very few people can make. So, no, we're just talking about um, daily stuff. Now, right now, just talking about the nerve gas attack and why, why Trump is pushing the whole thing with North Korea. Because the, we're saying that the big thing, the truth about the whole aid, the, the interference, and the fact that they, they attacked that guy, you know, in, in, in broad daylight and 19 British people are hurt, um, so basically, and he's like, yeah, exactly. So, and you see the guys I was reading, the whole family has been killed slowly. The son, the wife, and uh, yeah. So basically, yeah. Patty Joe saying Bannon is in France. Is being, but you know, guys, I wonder, I wonder what is Bannon, it's, I feel like, I wonder what he's doing. I wonder if he's like, I kind of wonder if he's like acting as a spy. You know what I mean? Because if he talks, what is the purpose of all this? If he's co collecting information or if he's like working for Mueller, like what, you know, I wonder, I really wonder what he's doing in Europe because I feel like he's already worked for Mueller. Yeah, but that's what I mean. I feel like if you work for Mueller, you can't, you can't just kind of go do your thing afterwards. You know what I mean? I feel like he ha you know how Mueller in the indictment, he says, you agree to do whatever I want. Basically, you have to wear a wire if I want. That's it. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Exactly. I feel like I just don't think that he lets, you know, you kind of do whatever, like kind of go back to your normal life after this. So, so, um, okay. All right, guys. So, so those are the questions. Okay. So, I, okay, guys. So, so yeah, exactly. I would don't think anyone but Mueller would let him leave. And I think this is a perfect kind of cover up, right? Because it's like, uh, oh yeah, I'm going to go over there and be myself. The old self, right? Nobody suspects because it, right? Who who would think that he's talking? Nobody, right? So okay, or that he was forced to, or that he had to, or something. Okay, so okay, so now I'm thinking, yeah, he had regrets, right? No, I think he talks, and uh, I feel like Mueller must have made. That's what I think. I think he must have made everything conditional. So if he's out there. He's either he's being recorded if he doesn't want to, like whether he get he's like whether he wants or not he's gonna be recorded and I'm sure, especially all the intelligence agencies in Europe are are watching this because of Putin. You know what I mean? They're all kind of like lids recording, listening or whatever. Okay, so I feel like they're they're gonna go after this this bullshit. Okay, so okay, so let me try to think here. Okay, guys, so let me get the the main thread of the main vibe here of of the day okay so so um so here's the thing guys so let me just read you quickly that no i don't think he's back with mercer no so okay so guys okay let me just read about here quickly because i want let's get started okay let's not it's almost 10 minutes so Putin there's the issues okay so there's Putin and UK poison like what you know what's going to happen in England like are they going to do something about it meaning will, will there be some kind of retaliation and when soon or later one number two the scenarios of Trump leaving what happens to his staff what happens immediately after because I feel like I've seen you know the whole thing about the coalition 
some sort of coalition. But I don't know. I feel like I have a hard time believing that it's like, boom, right away they're like available and, and show up. Okay. That must be, I don't know how, how that, that's going to happen. So I just want to, so I have this, so I have to move. It looks ugly, but that's okay. I don't know with Hillary, but why? Julia, I don't know, Julie. I feel like I've, I've already talked, yeah, state of California. I might, yeah. So anyway, I just feel like let's focus on now. She's very, but she's, she's not a, she, she, she's leading her life. I think, you know, I saw, I saw before guys, Hillary coming back after this to, I believe she may be rebuilding the state department. Okay. I feel like once this whole thing, she may go back to this because I saw her going back to the government, but not as a president. This is, was the first, there was a, a pretty relatively old reading on her. I did. Okay. So I just feel like, I feel, okay. So this is the thing. I feel like part of every reading now, nowadays, we have to deal with the stuff that's about today because I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen briefly, like not briefly in the very near future. So we, I feel like I want to be prepared for it. Okay. So in a way I feel like the whole Hillary question is a little bit farther out. Okay. So let's think about this. I feel like this question about the immediate transition is, is a big question. Okay. So, okay. So then the other question, just, let me just read here. Okay. The other, the, what happens to the, his staff, like the people who work for him who are not involved in the Russia thing. Okay. What happens to them? How soon, the house and the leadership committee and will Mike Pence ever become, I believe he's not, but I don't know why. I, I still don't know to have a straight question about Mike Pence. Will he ever become president for like two days or two weeks or something? Okay. Okay. And then the, okay. Another, another thing I want to bring up, probably not, is not going to do today, but a lot of people have asked is about the economy. What's going to happen if he leaves right away? Like what is going to happen to the economy in, in the, the immediate aftermath. Okay. Of the economy. And then the tax plan, if the tax plan is going to be, if the tax plan is going to be, what do you say, like reversed? I don't know if that that's even possible, okay? And the other thing, I feel like I've already asked before, but I am kind of like a little bit worried. I was re I was watching some news. I was in the background. I'm wearing my computer, and I have like the YouTube thing. And it said that my Mitch McConnell is is focused on appointing judges, okay? So that's very dangerous, all right? So, um... So I just feel like it kind of worries me about like, I, can, can they, leave? they have to leave because imagine like if these people would change the government. Yes. And then that what's going to happen. Okay. What's going to happen. It's like, these people are going to be there making these decisions, controlling the laws. That's ridiculous. Okay. They can't happen. So, so what's going to happen to these judges? Okay. I think that's a big question too. So, but the first question and somebody else um, brought up, I think it was Julie Munson. I, Denise Siegel, I love Denise Siegel, she's the astrologer, and Denise talks about the whole thing with Trump happening 2019, he'll leave in 2019 or, or something like that, okay. Oh yeah, tell her some missed meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's possible, guys, he's like hanging with Russia, you know, and he's like, she's, yeah, exactly, I love her, I love, uh, I love her, I trust her, uh, Denise Siegel, but I wonder, yeah, judges, is that, yeah, that is all, okay, federal judges, Okay, so let me see here. Federal judges. Let's see here. Federal judges. Okay. All right, guys. So all right. So, okay. So the question, let me just, then I put here the federal judges. And then I feel like I want to, I, I would like to ask this, the question about the, I, because you know, guys, as, as you've seen, I believe that it's not something's going to happen the late, like late, um, December. Okay. So, I mean, not late December, late March with Trump, but let's see the, why I, I'd like to know why. Okay. Natalie asked the march. Of, what do you mean, Natalie? The march of our lives looks like a heavy action of some kind. What do you mean by that? I don't think I understand exactly what you mean. But anyway. Yeah. 
I don't know. She said heavy. Actually, I don't know exactly what. I not only asked the question, she couldn't ask the question. But, so anyway, please cl clarify you know, when you get a chance because I didn't understand what you meant. So anyway, so I just wanted to ask this, uh, address the question about leaving later. What are the chances that he's going to leave later? Because I feel like even when you, when I'm certain or I feel like it's a certain thing, you will be helpful to know because it, it's such a big deal. Okay, uh, it will be helpful to know. Yeah. Uh, and Sandy Abauer said, it sounds crazy, but do you think it's possible that Trump Cuban came in cahoots? Yes, I think they are. They've been for a long time. But it's not, it's, let's ask about, first of all, about this thing, okay? I, I believe that for for a long time, it's like this, this the whole thing is very choreographed to me, it's, okay? Yeah, so anyway, let's see why. Why? Why do you see riots? They, they're, they're kids. What do you mean? I don't think so, guys. This whole, you know, like I said, no, like, hmm. So, guys, let me get started. I'm going to close here, okay? Because then let's get started, okay? I'm going to get started. Oh, interesting. See you later, everybody. Interesting. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to close here, guys, because otherwise we're going to have the end of the discussion. I feel like, like I said, I want to get started 16 minutes in, okay? So, okay, let me get started here on, okay, let's just, since we're talking about it, just quickly to see what are the chances that Trump is going to leave now versus later. Like a lot of people are saying, what about in a year? Is it, What are the chances? Just, just a quick, okay, so that we have a better look into this just to quickly okay just to get started and then i want to get get going fast okay we're going faster so okay, okay. okay. What are the chances that late march versus later in the year 2019 okay later Now, late March. Versus All right, so, so, okay, so just quickly, guys, this is a now versus, it's just a quick comparison, okay? So this is now, this is an Empress Wealth Network, could also be Dreams, Big Hopes, and Money, okay? So, and I'll show you, in cases like this, I don't want to talk too much about the cards and exactly what they mean because it's not necessarily the purpose, okay? Um, it's just a comparison to see. And then I'll close my eyes quickly to find out more information, okay? So this is either dreams or, or network about wealth, hopes, like big hopes for money, okay? So that's on one side. And on the other side, also, whenever there's death, that's a big deal, okay? 
it's uh it's i i take that seriously and i think it's still now it's right now the 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 uh, death here okay There's a so strong possibility, E King. What is E King? He's E King. What does that mean, E King? Weakening? Oh, guys, I have to type. I don't know. Anyway, so I feel like this is the money in government. I believe here legal issues, okay? Money, money, money ending. So again, it's confirming this, this idea that there's going to be very serious money issue okay and in the and later on we can yeah i don't know guys financial crimes yeah i feel like this is like queen of wands upside down lamica okay i just feel like you know what i think that later there's going to be an endless stream of lawsuits against trump this is news of lawsuits okay later this is for later so i feel like it's only the beginning for him okay it's not gonna it's like him i believe it's i think there's an end just because whenever there's the death like you have to think in terms of like what the stronger card is and whenever death appears is very definite okay there i think this is pointing to the money being confiscated okay so i'll show you okay this is the other side here quickly um the female energy against him this is like I think also maybe the people who are next, Amika, meaning the people who are involved or close to him are all going to have legal problems, okay? And then we have here the shady people who are enemies, okay? The enemy shady people are and their money. So I feel like what's happening, what I get the sense of is that his money is going to be taken then towards the, that's going to be later, okay? So it's, I feel like, because the issue here is that he's not, what I've seen is that he's not leaving because of anything legal. He walks away. He can't sustain it. That's the issue, okay, that I see. And I think that the fact that here we have, we have the, like, the legal stuff happening for real at the end, okay, that's when they get it, okay? But I think at the same time, I really believe that he's gonna leave on his own volition earlier, okay? No, I don't think it's like Nixon, Nixon left. I don't know, so there was nothing to do with impeachment. I feel like this is just financial crimes in general. And here, like I said, the beginning, I feel like, yeah, he resigned, that's what I mean. So, so essentially, what we have here is that he is hoping for money there's big hopes for money and when it doesn't i feel like there's that's probably why here okay i i really i still think that the cards are much stronger for now okay let's see does he leave does he leave by the end of march no i don't know, I don't know guys let me close my eyes quickly here because it's hard to tell. Okay, I'm going to close. Okay, so what are the chances? There are some people who think he's going to leave the end of the year or next year, or maybe serve full term, or I think there's a strong indication that he is going to leave at the end of March. What's going to happen until the end of March that could possibly lead him to leave? I mean, I think I see it, but what, could this change, or what is the deal here? What's happening? It's saying he's under a tremendous amount of pressure. It's showing me sort of like the image of like a pan, you know, like uh, the cover of a, you know, something very heavy on top of him from both the US and the Russians. And I feel like this whole thing, he's hoping for a lot of money and like the money doesn't come, doesn't come. He's never gonna think that the money's never gonna come, but I feel like the pressure, he can't take the pressure anymore. He's gonna explode to the point of like losing his mind. There's going to come a point where he's going to lose his mind. He's going to lose it completely. You can still put on a facade, but eventually it's like, then that's what's happening. Okay, I think, and this is why I think he's going to leave. Yeah, I believe he leaves. He leaves. I feel like there's people already talking. I think John Kelly and several other people are already sort of like bringing it up with him. 
yeah, just kind of like make, you know, they, they never obviously say it directly, but they kind of bring up the, the idea to him, okay? And I think when he realizes there's not much that he's going to be able to do, or maybe about the kids, or there's going to be some blow to him in terms of a legal blow. Maybe it's in New York or something where where he won't be. Able to. So he's he's going to be like, I can't, you know, he's, he's going to, it's a money thing. Yeah, and I, see, I feel like for some reason I see Schneiderman, and I feel like there's going to be something surprising here in New York in conjunction with Mueller, and that's what the thing is going to get him is the New York stuff because it's going to threaten to take his money too. So so he's not going to be able to like, he's completely incapacitated. So I feel like in a way it's that he leaves, but he's also, he's insane, okay? He, I mean, you can tell he's crazy, but, but that's what I'm seeing. Okay? This is why like, it's like, he can't hold it until, okay, and I'm getting, this is like crazy what I'm getting. So you're saying like, he's being tortured. Like, I feel like the, the Russians are like, kind of like, really pushing him to do things and he's like it's like he can't it's almost like too much for him like i think he's gonna go eventually he's gonna explode okay this is why i feel okay and this is the tariffs is the beginning okay when people start putting like barriers obstacles onto him that's when he's not like when when he realizes he wants to do things and he can't that's when when shit is really gonna hit the fan, okay? So, so, um, so that's that. that's the that's why, okay? Now this we got the answer about that. The odds of him leaving earlier versus later. It's like the government is already kind of like, you know, abandoned in a way, right? He's not, he doesn't do anything. He's he wants to. So it's it's bigger than just the than just the legal issues that the government itself is kind of, you know. All right, so, okay guys, so I'm gonna get, get going here, okay? So let's ask the question about the federal judges before I get into the whole like black hole of Trump, okay? Okay, so the other thing, I could also ask why is Mueller taking so long, right? Because I think that's also a direct question. Why hasn't Mueller indicted anybody so far? Why is he waiting so long? What is he waiting for? Why is he just also, also a quick question? What is Mueller waiting for? We want indictments yesterday. Okay. We don't know. He's not waiting, Julie. He's not waiting for anything. I don't think he's that kind of person. Wait, Julie's saying he's waiting for Dems again. I think I don't think so. He, I don't think he'll be like twiddling the tongue. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't think he'll be like, oh, I wonder if the Democrats. Oh, I thought the Democrats were going to go. No, he knows. I feel like they know a lot more. There's more serious stuff we don't know about. Like, it's very, it's very serious, okay? Like, very serious, like, security, national security stuff we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, this is just a lot hygiene. So, okay. So, yeah. Exactly. I think Jen said, I think Mueller is worried about the trees and stuff much more than waiting for them. That's basic. Okay. All right. So, let's see. Why? Okay. Quickly. Why has a Mueller... Why hasn't Mueller indicted bigger people? Like why we feel like in the group, and I speak for myself, that I wish that he had started already, okay, indicting the bigger people. And why hasn't he indicted, okay, more people? Okay, when, like, I know I can't find out exactly when, but why, what's going on? What is he, is he waiting for something? What's the deal here, okay? Yeah, taking the time that we work back. So I just quickly, I just want to, it's like one few questions here, just not a I mean, few cards, not very okay, So why hasn't Mueller indicted people close to his family? What is, like, is he waiting? What's going on? How does he see it, okay? Yeah. What's going on with Mueller? Why hasn't he indicted bigger people? Are we going to wait longer? What's the deal, okay? Interesting deal, making deals. Maybe he's making deals with people. 
and looking into money stuff. Okay, he's making more deals with people. Interesting. He's happy, joyful, feeling joyful. Vecca Senor. Oh, finding out. Oh, Vecca Senor is the past. So I'll show you guys. This is good. This is good. Getting more information. Meetings. He's having meetings. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh oh, what? No. Prison? No. What? No. President Trump? He's the most honest politician we have ever had. Oh my God. It's all it's fake news. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so. Oh, what? Coffin? No. I don't believe this. No. <laughs> I don't believe this. Making it up. You fake. Fake news. Can you, I, anyway, so this is, okay, the end of Trump. Okay, this is the card of Dotard, all right? So I feel like it's on the cards, guys. So, okay, so let me just show you here what we see. Okay, so... Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no. Patty Joe. Okay. I can't unsee this. Patty Joe said, can you imagine having to do a cavity search on Trump? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't unthink this. I can't unsee. I can't unsee that on my mind. Oh my god. Imagine him with that. <clears throat> He's farting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, guys. So here, this is a part of a deal. Okay partnership, relationship, deal, happy. He's happy with the deals he's making and there's meetings, okay? So he's meeting with people, he's happy and meetings about ending him. They're, he's already having conversations. It's like deal, like deals that are gonna end him and conversations about ending him. It's like the main card here is Coffin and he's happy, it's all going well, okay? It's going well, I'm mean, serious. I always say that it's going well as a joke, but this is going well here. And then we have here, it's basically money stuff, okay? La Vecchia Signora means old stuff from his past, his financial dealings from the past. I feel like he, he's looking into this to put him in jail, okay? So he's, he's going to use these financial, the past financial dealings to put him in jail. And this is why I feel like, I, you know what I think? This is actually very clear, this reading. It's saying that he's... He's actually, Mueller is doing really well, okay? Mueller is doing really well because you see here that he's happy, okay? He's happy, alegria, right? So he's happy, he's happy with his friends. There he is, like his team, and he's like throwing something. Oh, look, what is that? He's, oh, he's drinking wine. He's like, no, I don't think he drinks, but I don't know if he drinks, but he's like, he's celebrating, okay? So he had having had very productive meetings. He's flipping a lot of people. And he's having meetings about, I feel like he's already planning after he, he leaves, okay? So, hey, champagne. Oh, my God, that's right. Yeah, Mola's like, baby, just because I'm, anyway. Yeah, so it's just like, it's like he's like, money will take him down. Money, old money meaning, money that comes from his past is taking him down, okay? He's going to put him in prison, right? Prison. His past is going to put him in prison, financial past. So... So it's like, um, basically, yeah, not, yeah, money. It's like, but I feel that guys, I've seen this everywhere. That like, he's, I remember the, the I, I did that impromptu re reading on Friday, right? So that just randomly did it. And it said that it's going to look into his business partners. I feel like his business partners, we don't know about his financial dealings, the people that have, he owes money to. So I feel like this is, he wants to put him in prison, not just make him leave, but put him in prison. Okay. For many things so this is why i feel like he's actually getting more than he expected and this is why the answer i'm gonna put, close my eyes quickly okay close my eyes just to find out more here so why has a muller why has a muller indicted more people okay what is like what is he waiting for what's he doing here so yeah i feel like muller is like he's got he's like got so many i feel like it's it's like sort of like it's like he's building a little house for i see like a a hamster trap like house or something like he's gonna he's he's closing on every angle so so it's like he's making it so tight that he can't escape when it falls it's boom over like there's no escape 
no escape at all. Okay. Roach. And, yeah. So I feel like he's, he's really like, if he, you know, there's a obstruction is just, it's sort of like the, you know, the hors d'oeuvre or something. Okay. So it's like, there's all I the mean, millions of courses. Okay. For, so it's like, it's just the intro. So there's all these different things. And I feel like he's kind of feeling a little bit worried about the, the, the vibe of the population. Like people are getting desperate that he's not, that he's not dying more people. But I feel like he's like, I wish they could understand that I can only, like if we strike, like boom, it's much, it's much more effective. If we drip, drip, that could be, that could give him time to do, you know, do things. But I feel like, like I'm showing here guys, uh, I feel like most, for some reason, I, again, I'm seeing Krishna here. They are under surveillance, surveillance. I don't even know if it's possible, but they're under surveillance. And like his bank, uh, Jared's bank accounts are being monitored. Ivanka's bank accounts, everything that they're using now. Because they're afraid that he, you know, the thing about trying, you know, to try to leave. So everything, all the money moving, they're they're tracking the money, how it's being moved. Okay, so so that's why I feel like the whole thing is sort of like, it's like I feel like he's making. It's kind of the fun image I have, like him making a soup and putting them in the soup. Like you can't escape the soup. I'm boiling you alive. Okay, so so I feel like. Jenna's saying that is why they're using credit cards. No, because they don't have money. They use credit cards because they don't have cash. Basically, that's it. Okay, so I feel like it's just the way the money is traveling is how they're, okay, they're, they're monitoring, like, what's coming in, what's coming, what's going out. Okay, so, so, um, so it's like the, he throws them in the soup and I said, bye, go bye. Um, so, so it's like, um, you know, like a lobster. I feel bad for the lobster, you know, about live stew. Yeah, it's like, oh. And then boom, bye. So, so anyway, okay, so, all right, so that's it, guys, and I'm thinking, okay, bye. Yeah, I feel like, again, it's kind of giving this image that, like, once he starts indicting the people, like, near, close to Trump, like, the people that Trump cares about, his family, in other words, that means that, like, it's a high alert that Trump's next. Like, he's not going to give more than one or two weeks max to the other people because he knows like okay it's like when he by the time saying here that by the time he indicts the family members his case is like you know he that means he's very ahead he's very like you know set and i feel like he's waiting and this is like bringing me back to the image i saw of Kushner, like being desperate trying to sell something that's going to be an event that's going to trigger an, an emergency plan that he had okay i think he was planning to do it later but something is going to precipitate the indictments I believe maybe that okay the whole thing would i i think there's something coming not because he planned but because it's like a deterrent to something else he's not he's being monitored okay i feel like um yeah i feel like it's just um no 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 i talk about um uh um Kushner. you know he's trying to sell like guys like i said before this whole thing i think it's safe okay don't like he's trying to like scare the population i don't think he can he has access to that i really don't guys okay so yeah can he no i think he's like there's several people several layers and i feel like the military has been alerted okay about him like they know they don't the military have always been mistrust they have never tr like trusted him okay i think for some not for we know why because i feel like they, he you know probably meets the criteria of like a spy or whatever already he's very suspicious you know to them or whatever so, so that's the thing. Okay, now we got the answer why he is not, he is, you know, I think he, he's trying to do as much, I think he's ready, you know, if something happens, but I think it's gonna, something's going to happen, especially with Kushner, that's going to precipitate his fall. I mean, the, exactly, he can't start a war, exactly. I feel like he's trying again to try this whole thing with, you know, North Korea and all that. Like, I think they're trying to like, kind of try to, to change the subject, okay? But it's not working obviously okay and he's gonna he's always been able to escape but this time he won't escape okay okay so all right okay okay he's, yeah okay so guys all right uh and the other thing guys we have to remember the world the good part of the world i feel like everybody's against these people they all hate them not just like you know because it's good versus bad but it's because like if we let this everybody who lets this guy go on it's like it's gonna be you know putin and him 
like he's just a soldier of Putin. Okay, think about it. Do people want that the, that kind of government? Or are they going to be poisoned or something? You know what I mean? Nobody. I don't think people want that. So, so anyway, so that's why I feel like in Europe and everywhere they're kind of like, yeah, listening. Okay, let me let's get going, guys, because I'm I'm concerned. There's so much to talk about. Okay, so I do want to ask quickly. I don't want to put in too much time into this, but the whole thing about the UK, what's happening there? Okay, what happened with this whole thing with that guy? Like, I don't want to know, you know, I was like, please, God, don't show me, like, gory details. I can't take it. But just, like, you know, just, like, why? Okay, I want to know what happened here. What's the deal? And what's going to happen in the, you know, the next year, even? Okay, how will the UK react as a government, okay, to this? Okay, how will they respond? And uh, why? Yeah, I guess, I mean, we know why, right? Like I said, guys, you have to read into this. The, the entire fam the guy's entire family has been killed. Okay, it's crazy, like slowly, but it was killed, killed in weird circumstances. Like, okay, so it's like, why, why, okay, why now this guy? Because it's sort of like, don't you think you, you it's almost like counterintuitive? Because I, it's like, is it because Putin is feeling the heat and he feels like he has to, to make people afraid of him? Okay, or wh why? Why is he doing this now? It seems kind of like kind of like he should lay low but instead okay he's not yeah but i feel like he's done a lot in the uk anyway and he they are they i think the uk also let him like get away with too much all right so why what's going on in, in the whole poisoning of that guy why and what's going to happen how will the uk react to this okay Okay, yeah. What do you mean with Ruth saying? I think that's it, Rose. You mean like the whole thing you let away, let him get away? Yeah. Why? What happened with this whole thing? Why? Okay, let me see, just see the left about why had why did Putin do this? Okay. And then two, what's gonna be the UK's reaction within three months max, and then within a year? Okay. Okay. So, let's see here why. Oh, oh, this is what? No, what? Devil? No, what? No, I don't think so. What are you talking about? Hmm. Hmm. So I feel like the devil, obviously, guys, is uh, is something. It's about illusions, as you know. It's like it's like this card never comes up for this group. It's very rare that we like. <laughs> no, just kidding. So, so basically, up because it's upside down, I feel like he wants to he try to escape the bondage that he has created for himself or for the world, right? He wants to kind of like either I feel like he's in trouble because he did this, or he wants. I feel like okay, so he's like, um, oh no, I'm not evil. What? No, it's just because you had rotten kale. It's not my fault. So, okay, oh, look, Me oh, whoa, it's kind of scary, guys. This is a message, right? This is a messenger. So he's sending a message, okay? He's like, I'm the devil. Uh, I am the devil. I can turn it upside down if you don't treat me with respect. Hmm. Yeah, so the, it's like, um, interesting. He wants to cause... I feel like this is also like he wants to cause more illusions because the car, the main the devil is really par excellence the part uh, the part of the uh, illusions okay and it's a message it's a message that he can he can like create he's like I'm the devil I create the illusions all the illusions I want okay it's a it's a message so oh look prison what no no what yeah. Okay, so oh, we have this here. Child, oh, 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 child. 
sending a message to the child. Uh oh, you guys know that it looks like Trump even blonde little child. So watch out, little baby, baby. Oh, weird. Okay, guys, this is kind of creepy. I don't want to feel bad for Trump, but like this is a message about what happens to people who are tied up with us. Okay. That's what I'm, it's pretty clear, right? Why did he do it now? It's saying like, he's like, I'm the puppet master of you. And I'm sending a message about what happens to people, right? To, uh-huh, message, right? His messenger. Let's see what happens to the, you know, what will be the UK's reaction, okay? This is a negative message. So, yeah. Yeah, this is like, um, we got bad news for you, bitches. Weird. Alegresa Quare. This is weird. Okay. Happy. Well, how could you be happy about this? Weird. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. Oh, letter. Okay. Let's see. We got a letter. They also get a message because this is also a pleasant letter. So there's everybody sending each other's little messages. Okay. I wonder. Network. Okay, letter to the network. There's gonna be bad letters to the network. I feel like this could mean, again, this could reinforce the idea of the network. The people that were doing it happily, they're gonna start going after them. Okay, so I feel like the fact that this is reversed, it's like kind of like they're not gonna be so happy, like there's gonna be their own messages. They're gonna send their own messages to their network to start going around. No, guys, let's let's focus. Cynthia is asking, could this have anything to do with modern and dying it? Let's focus on all the cards say, and then we kind of extrapolate. I don't know that it, it's like I feel like the the UK. This is their own issue that happened. We they're not they're not like they're their own country, okay. And this issue with Russia has happened before. They have a history of people being poisoned there, okay. So I feel like it's a separate issue that has nothing to do with Trump. Okay, it, it, let's just look at this and then we'll see, okay. It's a message, yeah, it is. Okay, so let's see here. This is what happens within a year. This is a, a an alliance of some sort. Another card of alliance, okay. Money, interesting. Government. So I feel like, again, guys, there's the government's going to take their, it's going to make us some sort of coalition to tra track their money and probably take their money if they can, okay. They're going to make deals about taking their money. I feel like this is... Because I've read this before, that the only thing that seems to work about the Russians is taking their money. Like a war, they, they're, not, they're not scared about war because they send the, their own soldiers. They don't get hurt, you know, the powerful people. Only, they only get hurt if you take their money. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to start really maybe changing laws here, I think, about taking their money. All right. So, so... Um, Okay, and now, let's see here. What's going to be, just quickly, guys, what's going to be the ultimate outcome to Putin for that? Like, what's going to happen to him as a result of having poisoned? Okay, offer. Good lady, make an offer to, to weird. Okay, Russia. Russia card, okay. Mm -hmm, let's see here. I meant to do one more intro. It was so weird. It's crazy. Okay, let's see. Oh, whip. So they're going to fight. This is going to be a, this is aggressive. They're going to make an aggressive offer. Like a, this is weird. Let's see here. I don't like one. Okay. So speedy. Weird. Okay. Their ambitions. Okay. About one. Living room. So communications. Yeah. I feel like they're going to be a lot more aggressive about this. There. I feel like they had their ambitions, right? So speedy, like yearning to be more powerful. Than they actually were, but they're gonna start. I feel like they're gonna start cutting it at the yeah for long term, long term conflict. Yeah, it's snake. I feel like there's gonna be a what's the word? It's gonna they they will increase the uh, yeah aggressive rebuke. Exactly, Julie. I feel like it's also I get the sense that they're gonna start treating. Not as a total enemy yet because they don't want war, but they're gonna be like, bitches, watch. Okay, they're gonna start really seeing them as an enemy, okay? 
fighting for a long, they're going to create a long-term plan to fight the snake, okay? They're going to monitor their all the communications and their ambitions, and they're going to create, yeah, no, 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 Diane, too late. No, we're going to be, no, no, Diane, don't say that. She said, too late, we're going to be, no. Okay, this is like, that's what they want. Like I said, guys, this is what they want. They want conflict, okay? Yeah, so I feel like this is, okay, this is not going to, yeah. So what I feel like this, I'm asking about the UK. Remember, the question is about the UK. It's not about here. I'm just looking at, if the question is always the most important thing. So if we're looking at the UK, this is UK, okay? So so this is, we're just looking at this, and obviously this, this tells that the world is not dumb anymore, right? They were, everybody woke up with this, okay? So they're creating stricter laws, and they're really kind of pouncing on them, okay? They're not going to buy into this anymore. And I feel like, guys, this is interesting, this kind of, it's funny, in a weird way, I feel like it ties up into the conversation about the stock market and by the, the financial world. Because as we know, they are masters of money laundering. And if the UK starts looking into here, the UK government starts looking into their money and their alliances, okay, then there's going to be consequences in the financial markets as well, eventually. Because you see what I'm saying? So it's like, the money finance, the, the money, the, there are people who look the other way, okay, I think, in some ways, about these things. And now that we're seeing the consequences of what happens, they're going to go have to look into the money because the money is bigger than war. Like I said, guys, to the big governments, taking their money is more, more effective than, than war. And that's what they're going to do, okay? So this is what I feel like. They're, the countries are going to have to have stricter money laundering rules and they will just take the money that's it that's what i feel like okay so that's what i sense and that goes against the disc exactly a lot of the rich russians live in the uk and they have a very inflated real estate market all those things so there's going to be they have to create laws because otherwise they're going to you know they're going to take over that's what i'm sensing i'm going to close my eyes okay because i don't want to spend too much time in here okay so, like I said, guys, remember the reading I did about him. It's all illusion. Remember this. It's like illusions. No, I don't think that's true. Nancy will never do all. Trump has to leave. Nothing can be done if he's in, in the government. But I feel like the West either does something or the, the entire, that's what they want, okay? So the entire thing is going to collapse. Okay, so if they don't do something, then that's, that's it, okay? So they are enamored. I think this is the Achilles heel, really, of the situation, is that the financial markets are somehow tied up. I don't know exactly how, but they're tied up with this in some way. So if they really want to fight this, they're going to have to look into it, and that's what's going to destabilize things. Okay, so let me close my eyes quickly here to find out more about this whole, remember the question, you know, this, the whole, like, poisoning, the guy, why, you know, the message... And what's going to happen? Okay. All right. So what happens? What happens to Putin as a result? He poisoned that guy, you know, this, the, the woman, the two of them. What happened and why? Why did he do that? I feel like he's living in a weird way. He's much more, obviously, he's much more down earth than Trump, but he's also living a fantasy. I feel like he feels like finally this is my era. Like I'm finally, people are afraid of me. He loves when people are afraid of him. So so he's sending a message. I feel like he's kind of losing his patience with Trump. He's like, I'm gonna send a message. There's that guy over there, I'm gonna get rid of him. And so so I feel like he doesn't like that guy here either. So I feel like he was more of a petty vengeance. I mean, I think he's done many things, bad things to, to this, these people. But I think it's also, he knows that it's a message, okay? A very powerful message. He's like, he knows he can't mess with me. I feel like he's just playing with Trump or whatever. He's also, like I said, he's a, you know, a fantasy of grandeur. And uh, I feel like I see that Theresa May, she's very upset. And everybody in the UK is extremely upset from conservative to, to the left. Everybody. So I feel like they have to do something. And they have a very, you know, obviously a very famous, very famous intelligence services. And they're talking over there, the government. They're like, we have to have a comprehensive plan. Let's not, let's talk, you know, behind closed doors about this stuff, okay? Because they know, they know there's infiltrated people there, too, who are getting, taking money. 
So I feel like they just gonna have a plan and they're gonna, you know, when they w roll it out, people will be surprised at how harsh it's gonna be. But that's what they're gonna do. They're not gonna talk about much, unlike, you know, like the US or whatever. They're not, they're gonna be very, very quiet. But once they do something, it's gonna be swift and severe. And uh, they're gonna put people in jail there. You know, like a lot of, there's gonna be, almost like they're treated like terrorism, honestly. They are treating it like terrorism. So. But it's financial terrorism, they feel like. They have to get the money because, like I said, it's the only thing that works. So so a lot of those houses will be possessed by the UK government, I think. Okay, so they're going to, they learn from the, the Magnitsky, Magnitsky Act. And, uh, and like I said, I think, I think I see Putin losing here because I feel like he pushed, and he, I see him regretting. He's like, I pushed him too hard for Donald Trump. I pushed him too hard. I, he was like kind of crazy already. Like I, he couldn't handle it. Yeah, I lost my moment in the sun. It feels like it. Now it's, it's going to be, he, they're going to be isolated further. Okay. That's what's going to happen. And they're going to take the money. They're not even going to bother with any aggression. They're just going to take the money. That's the only thing that works. So, so that's that. Okay. And when in retaliation, they're going to try to like take the market down. That's the thing. That's part of it too. Okay, they're kind of trying to manipulate it further. I feel like Putin has several financial advisors in the government. They're excellent mathematicians, so they know they're planning things, almost like financial terrorism. It sounds crazy what I'm saying, guys, but that's what I feel like, okay? Those kinds of things. So, so that's that. That's the answer, okay? Yeah, so I feel like yeah, so I feel like that's, you know, and I feel like that's, but that's what they're doing. They're going after the money, okay? So this idea of war, you know, the whole thing of like, you know, death or whatever, like all those things, like I said, it doesn't, for that particular country, it doesn't work because like I said, those people, they don't, they never, they, they live in their, you know, castles or whatever. They could, well, you know, send their people to die, honestly, and like, they don't care. So, okay, so anyway, so that's what, that's what I saw about the consequences <clears throat> and i feel like although you know we thought like that was very harsh on that guy you know the older guy and the daughter they felt like oh there's that guy over there he doesn't care you know he just doesn't it's i feel like he was looking for someone to do that to, and he found that guy he remembered about that guy okay so i'm thinking okay let me see just one thing more if, are they going to be able to prove like are they going to find the person who who is this person who are they going to I don't know, guys. I don't know. For some reason, I'm getting like a port. I'm getting the sense that the guy left already. And they, it was by ship. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, I don't know if the city is near the sea or whatever that is. I feel like the guy arrived by ship, so there's not, the tracking is not done the same way or something. I don't know. I don't know. The guy, because, you know, that, that thing is very dangerous, you know, that chemical. I don't think the guy flew here, I mean, here to the UK, you know, because they, it could be detected. So it was some sort of ship or something, I believe. I think they can track, you know, the, 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 that it was not, they can track who made it. Okay, so, yeah. All right, so let me do. Oh, somebody, you know what, guys? Somebody's saying that something about the volume. You know what I'm thinking? Okay, hold on a second. I think the battery may be low. It, it might be time to change the battery. Okay, one second, guys. All right. I'm going to try this. One second. Maybe that's why, okay? One second, okay? I'm going to turn it off. One second. Is it better now? I don't know. Is it better? I don't know if you can tell. Okay, I don't know if um, it was Cynthia Bauer. Let me know, okay, if, if it's better. Anyway, so, okay. So anyway, guys, so, uh, okay, all right.
So, okay, so that's that. That's a story about this. That was the story. And I think things are going to go down for, for, uh, for Putin because I feel like he's, he's going to, it's like slowly there's going to be a buildup of like revenge everywhere, all over the, the world. Okay. And I feel like, yeah, I think it's, it's going to backfire in some ways. Okay. All right. So, okay. All right. So let's move on. Okay. To the next topic because there's always so much to talk about. Okay. Yeah, I think Mueller, you know, and and I think he will, um, he will, uh, because, you know, it's funny because it's almost like Putin is acting like a villain. It's almost easier now, okay, to, um, to make him look like a villain because he's acting like it much more, okay, lately, like he's, 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 he's so much like that, okay, so, all right, so let's see here. Okay, guys, let's, you want to ask, let me ask about the judges, okay? Because I still, there's questions here that I want to know about the transition, but let's ask quickly about the judges. Because that's something I'm worried about, okay? So these judges that Mitch McConnell wants to put into place. What are the chances, okay? What are the chances that they're going to stay, okay? But a financial crimes answer. What do you mean the financial crimes? Diana. Okay. Just quickly. All buildings start to tell. Oh, I see. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. So let me just quickly ask here. Okay. All the transition plan economy. No, let's. Okay. Okay. So what about these, these conservative judges that, that are going to be appointed? What about, so again, war such and all that? I've asked this before, but I'm still curious about it. Like, okay, if we. If there's a chance that he, you know, he could leave or something. I saw before, guys, the whole thing about the, you know, the government being undone. You know, this whole everything they've, they've like pushed to because if it, if they, if they, um, if they can prove that the government was bought, okay, which I think that's where he's going for, then there's a chance. I mean, I don't know. I'm not obviously not a lawyer. I don't know what it is, like what they do or how they can prove it, right? So that's the only hope here. Okay, yeah. So what happens to these judges that McConnell is appointing or wants to appoint or has appointed, I don't know exactly, and as well as Gorsuch. Let me uh, I'll leave a thing, a separate thing for Gorsuch. General, the general, the judges that have been appointed, are they going to stay or are they going to leave? And also Gorsuch and, and after, after Mola, they going to stay, okay? Okay, so, all right, no. Okay, so then, So first, oh, this was like, they're not happy. Somebody's not happy. Okay. And then, okay, let's see here. And this is like happy family or country. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Let's see the judges. This is a question. Okay, Trump. I'm going to, okay. This is a card about Trump. I'm just show you the cards quickly. Good, rich, jam and Trump. And then let's see here, happiness, okay. And then Clamante upside down on the left. And then, oh, um, so speedy meaning uh, yearning for something. Mm, okay, so then, oh, this is the Normand. 
this is the I think would be the law, the government in general. Child, okay. So Okay. okay, let's see one more here. What does it mean? Okay, it's weird. It's funny again, this card here. I wonder what this means. I don't think. Yeah, the lands are not going to. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's, I feel like, is it really, yeah, my business, yeah, I wonder, guys, if it, there's going to be something, let's see, one second here, what is the deal with, like, a lot of cards here, they're suggesting that plans go wrong, there's something, like, they're not expecting, but let's see, it, it's a little strange, I'm not, I feel like maybe there's, the fact, the way they were appointed, okay. Then we have here. Let me just see here. That's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. So this guy's is a is is the I think this is the country. Okay, now this is the child which always symbolizes Trump. And I feel like could it mean, it could it mean the new beginning? I don't know, okay? And then you have mice, which means to me, obviously corruption and also Republicans. And then we have opportunity. So the Republicans and Trump saw an opportunity for corruption, okay, once he got into power. And this is happiness. I think this means also a lot of money, okay? So this is like a great happiness. They were going to build their world and then they had their yearnings but i think this is going to come crashing i honestly there aren't very many best too many bad cards here okay but what i think this could mean and I'm, I'm i feel like maybe i'm stretching it is that because this the appointment of judges is going to be found to be a result of the corruption in the government in some way okay so this this could be how it's undone if, there, if there's a case for a large-scale corruption, then this is the way that this could go down. Okay, let, now let's see what happens to Gorsuch because we have more, a bigger idea, okay? Oh, look, first card for Gorsuch, painful ending. The lady, weird, okay, because of the Russia thing. So he there's something, an ending for, for Gorsuch because of the Russia thing. Oh, look, oh, this is... Okay, yeah, deal. So there was he was part of a deal. And I remember guys somebody saying that he you know he had been picked by by hand by by all those people, the conservative donors. Okay, so the D because of the deal, probably related to something Russia, okay. Oh look, his thoughts, he's worried. So he's worried about it. He knows there's something there, okay. That's what I think. He's worried about the deal that he made, and he's gonna. There's gonna be a painful ending because he's wor worried about that the Russia thing is gonna uncover something. Okay. So let's see. I'm just gonna quick I look quickly to find out a little bit more, so that we have. And then I'll close my eyes, okay? Because this is interesting. Oh, look. Yeah. Moon meaning in the middle of the night something happens in the White House. The cards upside down. So there's problems in the White House related to the White House. Okay. Like, there's stuff we don't know. Because the moon is also things that we don't know. They're going on behind the scenes, okay? That we don't only, we only know half the story. It's a half story kind of card, okay? Financial. Boss, also. A long way. For a long time. Or that this was maybe money that was put aside. Let's see here. Yeah, oh, oh. Here, Muller. Muller is right here. So he's going to look into something that happened in the past. 
And I feel like here, guys, there's some sort of financial quid pro quo here because Mueller is after this. He's there's something related to appointing Gorsuch that was that is corrupt. I don't know exactly how or why or the the you know the issue here because I feel like if he, if Gorsuch leaves, okay, then that's a big deal. That means that he opens the possibility that a lot of people could leave, okay. Oh, that's okay, Donna. I'll just talk about Gorsuch and the judges, if we could, they can leave. And it's looking like Gorsuch will leave, possibly leave, because of Mueller, okay? Something related to the Russian investigation. Okay. Now, where's the, let me try to get, where's Gorsuch going to be? And is, he go, is Gorsuch going to be in the government, let's say, by 2020, right? Let's just put the date, okay? 2020. Negative message. Say here, oh, Lecheresa is gonna get get real. I feel like you know he's he's. I mean, guys, he's just a a person of the corrupt machine. Election, election. Bad news about the election. What is here? Oh, look, short illness. He's he can't do anything about it. Hanged man, basically. Oh, court person. He's a judge. Oh my God, look. Look, look, our friend, Jeff Sessions, over here. I don't recall. I don't recall. I don't recall. So so it's like there's going to be an inability for he, he to do anything about it here, okay? So interesting, okay? So this is kind of interesting, guys. So there's going to be some sort of something here, interesting. Super, I, you know what I feel like? A short illness is also... I wonder if like he's going to be incapacitated as a result of like his connection to the Russia thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, guys, how it... You know, I don't know that I'm saying like you can vote him off. I don't think that's so easy. Okay. But I feel like if the whole group of people is going to be... Okay, they're going to be affected, then, then then this is what I think. Okay. Yeah, Malato. This is like... He is similar to this card. There's something there. Like he's, he's harmed something or he is himself harmed or he has caused some harm here. Conversation is so there's like deal, fortuna upside down. So like his fortune, meaning his luck, you know, bad luck. Okay. So it's like, he, he, maybe this was the deal, like where he taught, oh, let's pick him. But there was some harm that was came as a result and he's going to go down, I feel like. Okay. Yeah, so let me close my eyes here. I want to find out more information if I can. Okay, yeah, I feel like, okay, let's, what's the deal with the judges? What's happening? I'm going to close my eyes, guys, okay? So just drink something quickly. What is happening with, you know, with the judges appointed by Mitch McConnell and Gorsuch? Why do I see that? Why do the cards look like he's going to leave because of the Russian investigation? What is the story here? Okay. What is the story? Oh, guys, you know, it's funny. I'm seeing, okay, so I'll just tell you what I see. I see a, a message, you know, it's, more, it's more reminding me of the card of the conversation that I showed you, you know, people talking around the table. I feel like Mitch McConnell's there with the donors, the Koch brothers, and I'm like, they're saying like, okay, we want, you want to elect um, Gorsuch, this is the price. Everybody gets a cut. So there's like a scheme, some sort of weird scheme there where everybody's rewarded if they, if they do what the Koch brothers want. Something I feel like the elections are bought and sold. I don't know. I feel like the guys that I'm saying, this image came back that I ha I remember a while back I saw this, the idea of the veins, okay? There's like a circulation, almost like a body that like where the, the money circulates, like an underground vein or something, you know, pump like, looks like a vein and I feel like there's a you know Mueller's gonna find this underground channel and the money thing is gonna invalidate it that's why I feel like there's all these ki all kinds of financial agreements in place to elect specific people and put them in power like they really they consider this to be so important that they pay any price for this because they really want to change the constitution they want this a big deal but once it's found out, it's it's really tragic for the GOP. It's very, very serious because it feels like, and it, it's showing me again the, the card, long way. It's been in place for a long time. So when it, it's becomes, it becomes a huge scandal. And I feel like part, for some reason, I feel like this network of corruption was also used by Russia to spread the money. 
when they were trying to buy the politicians, you know, the, the GOP people. So like, they were like, wow, this Trump thing, when Trump was going to be elected, but right before they're like, wow, this is like, we're so lucky that we're getting so much more money than we used to. But now, like the luck is going to be their undoing. Like, because I feel like this is a, because the Russian money went in, then Mueller's going to, he's all about finding the Russian money. So when the Russian money mixes with the critical regular money, that's when they find out like how, you know, their agenda is set and how money is connected to their agenda. So, so this is why. And I think also, yeah, I, I get an image guys of like the, you know, the new judges obviously don't know their faces, but sort of like little, little like paper do toys being with scissors being cut, their heads are being cut. So I feel like, Kind of like they're they're like tick 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 you know like with scissors you're like oh they're you know paper dolls yeah like this like oh cut cutting them cutting them cutting them meaning like they fall you know like they're undone so so that's it okay this was pretty clear right guys this was pretty clear so yeah so anyway so that was that that's the story why or how it sounds guys it sounds so it sounds almost like too incredible. It sounds kind of incredible that this is gonna that they're gonna that there's gonna be actual justice that they're gonna find it there's gonna they're gonna be prosecuted but that's what I'm seeing and that gives me the sense that this whole thing of like the, it's true the right code you know there's rumors or something that they're gonna indict the GOP and I feel like it's very likely okay and I feel like the FBI has invested oh my guys okay this is kind of weird it's been telling me too that they, the FBI has actually been investigating them for a while. The, the GOP regard before the Russia thing, okay? Yeah, that's what I mean. Jen be saying, will all the judges? Yeah, because like I said, that I told you, they, will all the judges be recalled? But by, by your yeah, point, yeah, exactly. This is I told you the image of the do, the paper dolls being cut, like they're meaning in the sense of like they, you know being like cut. Their heads are cut off, like they fall apart. Okay. So, so, so that's it. They're like, oh, like fly away or something, you know? So, so that's, that's it. Like, I feel like it's not even, it's not shown as being anything emotional. It's more like they're part of that scheme. So they go, okay. I mean, the guys that say, Eve, I'm telling you what I'm seeing, but it sounds incredible. It sounds hard to believe. Who's going to go to jail, Diane? No, why did you go? No, I don't think guys, I don't, honestly, I don't think, I think he was just a, I feel what I see, no, 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 no. What I see is like Mitch McConnell talking to the donors about a deal, okay? He's picked, he's like a, he's like a, what's the word? He's like a puppet, okay? But I don't think, I don't, I really don't believe, like, I don't, okay, yeah. Then you have to be, yeah, I don't know, guys. I, I know, but I, I've said this before. Let me close my eyes, okay, one sec. Oh, I already closed my, I feel, okay, let me just, more about Gorsuch. Tell me more about Gorsuch, what's the deal with Gorsuch? I feel like Gorsuch feels like he's out of his depth over there and that he feels, he knows his power will never be legitimate. It's obvious that he was appointed because of his, who he is, who he knows. And in a weird way, I feel like he doesn't like it. He doesn't like being around people who are qualified basically. So, so I feel like, but I think, you know, in, I, it sounds crazy to say this, but I feel like he knows he's not, to say it. it's almost like he was happy to be among their you know their like venomous friends over there but i think now that he's an actual thing it's like he knows he's, he's a fraud and i feel like he's not going to be sad to leave actually because he, he can't it's also there's a heavy price for him as well i feel like he started drinking and stuff like that so i don't know yeah and I'm, I'm getting, I see, you know, guys, you know that Don McGahn is heavily involved in this. And if he's collaborating with Mueller, he has to give all the information Mueller wants. Remember that. I think he's one of the key people who is involved in this scheme. There's a scheme there to appoint these judges, okay? He's number one with that. So if he talks to Mueller, he's going to have to give information, okay? Whatever Mueller wants. Because otherwise, you know, this is the problem with lawyers. They are uniquely... In, like if they they cannot practice law anymore if they don't you know if they don't do exactly what you know what I mean it's different from like regular people it's just because they can be barred from ever practicing law that's a big deal very big deal so so Mola has even bigger even more power to go after lawyers okay so that's cool all right so we, we moved on we talked about that okay 
All right, so, okay, now let's go. And I wanna talk about a little bit more about the transition, okay? What is happening with the transition? Like, I feel like if it's true, and it shows again and again, guys, that I do think he leaves soon. What, like, what does Mueller know about this transition? Okay, who is gonna, is this gonna, is this group of, that I, this quote unquote leadership committee is gonna happen right away? Oh yeah, that's right, guys. What's his name? It's Goidi, Broidy something, right? The Russian bank, the head of, oh, that's right. Wendell is saying, I don't know if it has been said, but the Russian bank, the head of an RNC investor was paid off and the UAE paid asset seizure is happening. Oh, look, it's already happening. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, wow. Broidy Goid, whatever. Yeah, let's see. Let me like qu quickly Google him. Broidy, whatever his name is. Oh, Trump donor Elia Broidy named in Ukraine criminal probe. Okay. Okay. Oh, the Ukraine government. Okay. Oh, he's working for the VTB. Oh my God, it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. Jesus Christ. Really? I said, I remember. Wow, no, but he's indicted in the Ukraine, not here. That's interesting. Oh my God. That's right. You know, that, that this bank, guys, because it's, it's hard to, t and you know, I read a lot about this stuff. It's hard to remember. VTV Bank is the bank, is the bank that that uh, you know Kush, uh, that Jared wanted to get a loan from. Okay, so so yeah, and this is oh this is why and I remember like I, I remember now that uh, Rachel was talking about it. She said that after all of this, he got a job at Trump, right with the RNC. He's one of the big fundraisers over there. Okay, so this makes sense, guys. They're taking smelling the money. Okay. Interesting. Oh my God. Oh my. Okay. Can, should, should I ask about this Broidy guy? What's gonna happen after now about this guy? Now that he's this guy was indicted or whatever, what's gonna happen to this Elia Broidy person? Oh my God. I love it. He says, uh, here, I'm not, I can't read the New York Times because I don't have subscription. A top Trump fundraiser says Qatar hacked his email. Isn't that amazing? Everybody gets hacked. Oh, I'm so sorry I was hacked. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. oh I'm sorry I was hacked. So, so, okay, so, okay, guys, so. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, oh, interesting. Mueller focus. Okay. In one example of Mr. Nader's influential connections, which now had, he received a detailed report from a top Trump fundraiser, Elliot Brody, about a private meeting with the president of the Oval Office. And he owns a security, a private security company. Okay. So, oh my God. Do you guys, do you mind if I ask what happens now that this guy has been indicted by Ukraine? What's, what's the connection? What's going to happen? Okay. Should I ask? Is it okay if I ask quickly? Guys, I don't know about this guy because it's like it's like. Oh my God. Well, I've already asked about Wilbur Ross. No, I think. Yeah, let's just ask about this guy because. So what's gonna happen? Oh, then pants. Okay, there's time. There's time, but I have to. Okay, I'm gonna close here. So what about this guy? This Brody guy. Tell me about this Brody. Elliot Brody. What's gonna happen now that this guy? You know the the money trail situation and VTB Bank. What's what is up with this guy Brody? Never heard of him before. What is up? What's going to be the consequences for the Republicans since he's connected to Republicans and Trump? What does he know? What is the deal here with this guy, Ali Brody? What hat? What is the deal here? Tell us about the guy. What's the deal, Elliot Brody? What's up with him, Elliot Brody? Elliot Brody, I'm corrupt criminal. Elliot Brody, never heard of me, but I commit crimes. I'm Elliot Brody. I'm a criminal behind the scenes. Okay. Elliot Brody, never heard of me. I haven't heard of you. I just say random things. That's crazy. 
feel like I haven't been like making very, very funny today. It's not good. So, okay, so let's see about this guy. Oh my God, what's up with you? It's all your beauty. It's like, it's really, guys, there's so many rats. It's unbelievable. Just when you think you had a, an idea, like, always like somebody new. There's always like a person behind the scenes. There's one that you don't know about. So, so let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. All your beauty. I'm corrupt. There's money. Okay, what is the dealer? Oh, this is reputation. Okay, oh, should oh, this is money, money, regular inflow, inflow of money, recognition. It's also interesting. I forget about this. This is a recognition, it could be recognition, meaning becomes known. Light, interesting, butterfly. Okay. Flying, flying, flying. Also, like the you know the butterfly, like spreads the pollen around. Okay, now this one. Let's see here. Okay, child, little child. So he there's a recognition of something about the he has some connection to Trump's reputation, to building up his financial. And it could also okay. Let me just not. Because the, this butterfly card is interesting because it could also mean that he kind of spreads the money around. He brings, he gets the money and then kind of distributes it somehow. Okay, let's see more about this Elliot Brody. Oh, lovers. There's a connection there. Uh-oh. These connections or deals. And this is Fortuna upside down. So there's going to be a problem. Some sort of like whoever's connected to this guy, money thing is going to be a problemo. Okay. This is also, I see it also a card of transfers. So whatever his financial transfers are. Oh, house. Oh, so he has transferred money to the White House and the White House has promoted him. And, and as a consequence, whatever money he has put into the White House is going to go down. Okay, this is what I'm getting now. Now it's making sense because it transfers the money to the White House. And like I said, if he's found to be guilty, if he has done it has the shady money then then all the shady like the connections that bring sh the money is going to the money is going to turn upside down but then they're going to find that the money went somehow to the white house so there's like all these financial schemes okay oh so weird okay so all right let's see if what happened you know how Mueller, what happens to this guy in terms of Mueller? like how does Mueller, what Mueller? uh oh so what Mueller? he's like He's hanging this guy, okay. like in the sense of like, he's like, do whatever I want, bitch. Oh, look, conversazione upside down. So, you know, this is also possible, guys, that conversazione means obviously like ha helpful conver like conversations among friends. But if it's upside down, I mean, disagreements. It could also mean, and I get a sense here that Mueller could de-entangle him and be like, look, you're going to go talk to these people. You're going to wear a wire. You're going to show the fuck up and do whatever I want. Bye. Okay. I feel like it could also mean this, that he's going to dangle him. Be like, you know, you do whatever I want to. Oh, lady. So he's connected to the Russian money somehow. Of course, VTC, whatever that bank is, VBT. I don't know what it means. So, oh, look, change. It changes. What changes? What changes? Oh no, what? Oh, there's a burial. Oh, sorry, something happened. What? No. It's gonna be a sad party for you, bitch. Uh huh. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. It's kind of crazy, guys. You see, it's, I feel like Mueller really is like, he, I feel like Mueller is master. He's so powerful. Think about it. He'd be like, if you have the, this kind of dirt, he's like, Guess what? I, I'll let you live. I'll let you be free. We can send you to a private the terror hut, Indiana. Okay. So, so it's just like, uh, hello, are you okay? Would you like, uh, we are looking into the possible prisons. Would you like to be, uh, imagine? Oh, by the way, I'm going to go off topic a little bit. Did you see Sam Nunberg's face after the courthouse? Did you see that? He's like, it was fine. His face was like, oh, like, 
Wake up, dude. Like he believes Roger Stone. Wake up. Yeah, he thought he was going to get shot. I feel like he was crying because they were probably like, um, this is how long you're going to be in prison for. So, guys, this is crazy. Yeah, so so I feel like there's going to be a big change. So all the group, this is your, this is this card tells us that all the entire group that's connected to this Russia, whoever he, he got money or helped, okay, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a change. The change is that we're going to meet at the cemetery to bury you alive. Thank you. Mm-hmm. But, uh, oh, hi, Barbara. What if I, yeah, so I feel like, Butterfly effect, interesting, butterfly effect, yes. Yeah, so I feel like, guys, it's bad, okay? So, so yeah, the money transfers, all right? It's bad. Let me close my eyes to find out about this guy, okay? Quickly, all right? What happens to anybody? To what's up with this guy? Yeah, I feel like he, it's like showing he was happy. He was like going to stake houses. Like a very, in a way, under radar kind of person. He was powerful. And he had a long-term relationship with these, you know, the bank, the banks over there. I feel like there was a whole influx of like the right wing. They were happy to be rich. They were happy to get money because they felt like there was a moment there after Obama where they felt very demoralized. But somehow, suddenly there was like a lot of money going to them. And it's because of all these people who are pretty desperate to change the, the direction of the government. So this guy got a lot of money too. He has a very different style for Manafort. He doesn't do specific things in Manafort, but he's good at like money schemes or something, or like trans shown here transferring money. And I feel like I feel like he's already been. He's like the other people. He was caught in an airport, either coming back. I, I don't know why. Why? You know, I want to ask parallels to this. Like, why does the FBI always arrest people in airports? Oh, because people can't see. It's like sometimes you know how flights sometimes are are, are like us. Um, late or something it's very easy to arrest people without detecting like if you go to someone's house someone's gonna call somebody it's gonna be a ruckus or whatever if you if they're flying it's much easier because nobody suspects and you can very easily there's rooms there that can be integral you know talk to and and it's very scary everybody's a little bit scared when you travel so like that's why okay anyway so i feel like he's already been like you know fished whatever at the airport and they should, you know, get him into a room, show all the documents and like, dude, you don't have a choice. You have to collaborate. That's kind of how it is. They give, you, they give you a day or two to think about it, but you're done. So I feel like he's obligated to show. And I feel like, guys, he's showing him all the flight. Explain the, the flight. Uh, what is it called? The flight route. Okay. How the money, where the money comes from and where it goes. And like how the money, like all the, the money long. I don't know if this is money, but it's like how the money goes into the pockets of the the uh, Republicans and also the B, you know, how they get paid or how they get like, um, yeah. So I feel like this is like the money, like I said, guys, remember before I said the whole huge financial, Oh guys, it's coming back. The whole financial thing I said before that they were going to discover the reason why the people that were going to go down this is like this. Okay. There's like the discovery, how, how the feds, <laughs> the feds, I start talking like this, how the feds found this, was by searching the they were searching for the Russian money, but somehow they started finding it that they were parallel. The paths were parallel somehow, and that's how they found this. Okay, so so this is so huge. Okay, and uh, yeah, so it's just like a very big thing, and I feel like um, I feel like they're saying you know these politicians had a net worth that could not be explained. Okay, so this is explains like how how they get this money or how they have these big houses and how they have you know all this stuff. So that nobody knows, nobody thinks about it too much, and they kind of try to keep it, you know, the down low, but they have trust funds for the, you know, they have ways to kind of hide it, okay? So, anyway, so that's that. That's the story about this Brody guy, okay? And I feel like, like, oh, what's his name? Turtle? He's scared. He's very scared, okay? Turtle is very connected to him. Okay, Turtle is like, Turtle is really like, he's like shaking. All right, let's, okay, more. We need to do more, guys. Okay. So there's, okay, now I want to know a lot more about, okay, tell me about the transition. Let's see if there's a transition right after. I feel like, okay, let's say, let's say Trump leaves the next day. What happens? Who, okay, I just, I really need to know because I feel like we don't know. Okay, so is there a plan? What happens? Should he ask? There's like, what's his, I don't know. I don't know him. I, I, I'd never watch him because he's disgusting. He's a, 
He's like in a soup. He's like, help me, somebody. I'm in the turtle soup. And Mahler's like, oh, yeah, I'm in the turtle soup. My grandmother's recipe. So, oh my God. So, okay, so, all right. So what is now, uh, we're at, I am at, it's just, like, yeah, so Diane has a turtle um, emoji, okay. So, all right, so, okay, so what is, an, oh, the question, okay, though. so tell us about the transition, like if, if is there a plan, does Muller have a plan for a transition, and, and if, okay, tell us about this transition, uh, right after Trump, Trump leaves, is, hey, is there a plan for his, for transition? Who does does uh does Pence become president at all? Like, what happens? Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. I want to know what's the deal with like what's this, what is Mike Pence gonna? What will be Mike Mike Pence's role in the transition if indeed Trump leaves? What's gonna happen? Okay. Okay, what happens? Like, I I need to know because I need more detail. Okay, I need to know. Prison, yeah. But I need to. What happens in this transition? What is like? What is it like? Yeah. What is it like? Okay. Or what is it like the day after Trump leaves? Like who takes over? What takes over? What is the deal? Okay, I want to know. What is? What happens to the government the day Trump leaves? Like who takes over? What? What is? Is there a plan in place? More information. Okay. You're interesting. Oh my God, guys, this is crazy. Very. It's, this is a card. If you, this is a card that's famous in Tower for being something happening very quickly. Okay, so very soon, very soon card. Okay, something comes very soon. First card. Okay, FYI. This is a V. So interesting. This is a the maid card upside down. Okay, so nobody's serving. All. The, it's almost like you could you could feel like. We know that obviously they're not, they don't serve anymore. They don't, they just kind of go there to steal, but like, I want to know, oh, deal. So there's a, probably a deal in place. Okay. What is this? There's some sort of deal. Uh, what is next? Oh, here. House. So there's a deal in place because I feel like they already know that there's no, nobody's there. There's no there there. Okay. Interesting. Let's see, because this card guys, big deal. It means like it's a very it's a t very serious timing card, okay? So, so this is interesting. This is interesting, okay? So let's see what that means in the next set of cards, okay? Tell us more, okay? The, oh, look, prison. Somebody needs to, you know, there's some some over here. Oh, look, viaggio. I feel like people who are related to the shady government, shady foreign power, are in the risk of going to prigione. Okay, let's see here. What else? Child, yeah, child by girl by girl by prison time, girl by yeah. The shady stuff is oh my god, wow, guys. Okay, can I tell you something? This is crazy. What is this card coming again? That that so it's like every time Trump shows up, there's a death card. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, I don't want to, you know, there's a message. They're still telling us something. There's something happening, okay? Just so you know. It's like, uh, remember, like, all the time, I get when I get the death card like that, like, okay, so see that the, the, the Russia problem becomes bigger. So death of Trump, Trump criminal, okay? So I feel like there's not much. Whenever I asked 
about, about this, it seems very clear, okay? How I know, how I know that, I don't know, right? I don't know, maybe I don't know, guys, but see, like, it's crazy, right? It's like, I feel like whenever, I feel like there's a deal soon because what I'm getting this image here is that there's nobody there. Like, okay, the, the White House is basically empty. There's no mates, meaning nobody's serving, okay? Nobody's doing anything, so they already know Right, like exactly. Right, with not, I've never seen so many coffins. Like right, all the time. It's like coffin, coffin, coffin. It's funny because you, st yeah, everywhere. It's like, uh, you know, it's uh. So anybody related to this, I have a feeling, okay, is gonna be, is gonna be taken, not taken, you know, but like compromised, okay. So, okay, this is the question I have, okay. So I know I've already seen that Pence doesn't go, you know, but why? Let's see. What about the people that could become, if you like people like like Pence and Ryan and McConnell, why can't they take over? What is what happens? What do they get indicted before? What is the deal here? Okay, what happens? Uh oh, there's some problems for them. Okay, this is a this could be a financial problems, and this is like the truth behind about this is like superior means pride and like in surface upside down. I think it means that. There's, there's, they're gonna face some hardships because of money problems, and their true, their true colors are gonna show up. Okay. Election. Oh, they're involved in the election stuff. Okay. So their involvement in the election is gonna be a change. Uh oh, what change? What change? Oh, what happened? Change? What change? So yeah, so okay, let's what is the please tell us like the reason. What is the exact reason why Pence can take over? I think he won't, but let's see. Uh oh. Yeah, it's appointed by shady people. This shady people behind the scenes. Oh look, enemy. He works for the enemy. I've said this before, guys. So the shady people and he works for the enemy. He works, oh my god, he's I feel this before. He's been appointed by them. I told you a long time ago, not a long time ago, one of the most recent readings I've done about him showed that he is like somehow appointed by them. Oh, look, meetings. So they prove that he has had meetings with the enemy, okay? He's had meetings with them. For a long time. So there's a long-term connection here. Yeah, so interesting. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's kind of crazy. So it's gonna come out. What? That, what's the deal? Is is Pence gonna be? In, are these people gonna be indicted before Trump like leaves? Okay, simple question. Will these people be indicted? Okay, this is the transition. Will these people that we're talking about like be indicted before Trump leaves? Okay, I, I need to know because that would make this is a, a person could be a good person. Okay, charismatic, a snake. Somebody who's a snake. Oh, you know, this could be uh, what's his name, Flynn. Or one of those guys, okay. This could be Flynn or or uh, what's his name? A man of or somebody like that, okay. Rich girl, money. Money is revealed. Something about money. Oh, la, oh my god, look, ladro, you're a thief. You're a thief, you stole money, okay. So there's some money prop. The money's gonna come out. So their money is shady and they're thieves. It's also like you know, because there's a card that was that just came up also related to the election. So I wonder if they got some sort of payout about the election. I wonder, okay, if this is it. I wonder, guys. I wonder. Oh, okay. Just one quickly. Okay. So, yeah. So let me. So I feel like I always ask this question. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Yeah, I just pulled, like, the Normans. The Normans are always, like, very direct. So this is, like, the network of the the loyalists okay there's news so there's news about the network of loyalists legal news okay that's going to come out about a lot of them because it's a network right so it's going to come out it's going to become news and it's key so this is going to be an important event that's going to affect okay and guys if we remember if we remember the first let me show you this again because it's a big deal this first part here it's this is like very soon. Within a, okay, let's see. I'm one second. Okay, I'm just gonna remember this is like one second. Okay, one second. Okay.
Yeah, it's it's here, guys. It's saying it's a, it's this is of someone's post about cards that indicate timing. Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands indicates swiftness. Things should be done quickly and are likely to happen quickly. So very rarely do I have like I don't get this card very often lately or or at all. So very focused kind of motion and activity. Look forward to the rapid completion of a project that is currently underway. Card, a sign of the strike while the iron is hot, but most definitely an action-oriented card that encourages you to move quickly. Yeah. On the downside, eight of wands denotes haste and rapid advancement. So yeah, I feel like it's like it's it's coming, guys, really soon. Okay. So I feel like it's gonna be set in motion, this whole thing. Okay, so so let me close my eyes quickly because I this is like about this okay all right let's, let's, let's um, let me find out about this this transition what happens immediately after trump leaves okay i'm gonna close my eyes and drink something okay one second okay so what is tell me about that you know swift card and everything that's related to the to the trump transition it looks like there's a deal in place and who who goes in, who takes over if Trump leaves, if all these people are compromised, what happens the day after? Like, how does the government run? Guys, it's funny. I am seeing, like, for some reason, I am seeing indeed the um, the military. Like for some reason, I feel like the Pentagon is like, and all the intelligence agencies are talking about how serious this is, and they're there to reassure the population. They're talking about it and like why they're explaining why these people can't be in the government because of it's a serious, serious um, proof um, that. The, and this is like, oh, this they're explaining. This is why it had to be done quickly because we were at a process of like the government being completely taken over by another country um and trump was not in control anymore and we have evidence that these people are compromised at this stage we no longer need we have proof and the proof is enough to tell us that the, you know there's this there's a several two or three examples of the quid pro quo proof of the quid pro quo and the people who are involved and and and, and Mueller has shows not just Mueller, but I do think it's the intelligence services and military are involved. They're saying there are two or three pieces of evidence that indicate that Pence no not only knew about it, but signed off on it, and that he's been recruited for this for a long time. He's you know he's very trusted by by over there the Russians or whatever, and uh, somehow I do see Nancy Pelosi playing some sort of role, like almost like she's the master ceremony. I don't really explain it. Like she takes over that, you know, like I feel like there's people who the Republicans shrink. And I feel like they're saying we have to rebuild. It's like the after a war. We have to look into everything that's happened in the government since. And everybody's been quarantined. It's weird. It's almost like I'm seeing the people who, the, there's the people who have been indicted, but anybody, almost like people who is a kind of Ebola, you know, anybody who's been in contact with this person has to be quarantined. And that all of their communications are reviewed and they're put in ice, kind of like, I don't want to say isolation. It's not like they're, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like they're being observed. Everybody's observed. Everybody who's ever been in contact with the campaign after, because they leave pretty quickly. So what happens is you have to deal with the people that are connected to them because otherwise it's going to happen again. So, so there's this thing put into place. Yeah, I feel like there's a commission. Yeah, and I feel like, guys, this is when I feel like, I feel like Mueller has already talked to Obama and Bush and other people about it. And even the generals, if, if they have to take over. Like, you know, if they have to fulfill the diplomatic role of a president, 
you know, if you're not even sort of like just to maintain the government as an existing thing. But I feel like the, it's going back to the card of the swift thing. Again, it's like when they strike, especially on this, the money thing, it's going to be really quick. Because like I said, they, they feel like it's a, it's almost like a, and I think here, Mueller, it's telling me, reminded me that Mueller um, turned the FBI after 9-11. He turned the FBI from a cr criminal investigation to a counterterrorist investigation. So he's kind of doing the same thing here. He's turning an investigation that was like a criminal investigation into a counterterrorism investigation. Okay. So this is similar in the way that he's looking at it. So it's kind of like they have to act fast and swiftly because of the, the, the gravity of the situation. Okay. And there's a lot of people who are, you know, very, very high up there who are very concerned, very, very serious, but they're, they have their plan. You know, it's kind of like a, it's like they, they're seeing here, there's like emergency. Every government has a government inside itself that is like emergency contingency plans or something. I don't know how to explain it. But they have always have had these plans in place. Obviously, they never thought they had to use it, but that's what they're doing. I feel like it's actually the military. I don't know why, guys. I'm getting the military is going to be very play a big role because the the military basically guarantees the stability. And it sounds crazy, but it's sort of saying like because the military is always prepared. Like, what if there is some sort of foreign invasion and stuff like that? You know, they have this, the procedures in place. So so it's kind of like. I mean, there's no, I don't see any like serious, like, you know, like people have a uh, riot or anything like that, but it's more like, it's very calm, but it's more like they guarantee the continuous functioning of the government in a way, but it's done quickly. Okay. So yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So, oh my God, it's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, but I don't think guys as you guys as you guys are talking about and I'm not talking about those guys who are in the government uh, working for Trump. No. I'm talking about the government, you know, people who are in the Pentagon, stuff like that. I don't even know the people, okay? So so I just that's what I feel like. It's like not, you know. Yeah, I see her, but I feel like she's more like a running She's not a, uh, how do you say it? It's like a procedures. I feel like she's not in the spotlight, okay? It's more like the, the behind the scenes kind of thing, okay? So, so anyway. National, yeah, something. I don't know, guys. I don't see, but like I said, I don't see anything like violent or anything like that, okay? Um. So I just, that's what I feel like, okay? Oh my God, Diane just saying, Michael Cohen is not my license to practice law in California where he filed the, like, get real, these people. Get seriously. So anyway, so anyway, you guys just kind of, let me just finalize this. We have, we have seven minutes, enough to discuss what, what I just saw here. So it just is, I got a very peaceful feeling about it, actually. Really, not at all like crazy, because I feel like it's going to feel, it sounds crazy what I'm going to say, but once Trump leaves, it's going to be a lot, it's going to feel so much more peaceful. Okay. It's crazy to say this, but it's like, it's, it seems so much more rational and simple once he leaves. Like the day he leaves, like, oh my God. You know, because it's not the same mood, like a person who is insane and has mood swings, that's the country, you know, they, they try to like calm after the storm. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, like I said, it's going to be tough, like a rebuilding after a war or something. But, but I feel like they managed to turn the transition pretty well. So what was I going to say, guys? So that's it's weird. Okay, so, so yeah, I feel like, okay, I'm trying to like. Yeah, I'm trying to like get this like the thing about Mueller and these few. I feel like okay, so Mueller. I have a sense that Mueller has like he has indictments ready that he always revises, okay, or they have different purposes. So I feel like he has one for like how do you say it? For like in the case of something like this happens, that they will. They I feel like they have very different scenarios that they're preparing for. And I feel like there is an emergency one. I think they will use an emergency scenario because it's going to look like Trump is like losing it. 
And Kushner, like, he, I feel like he's, he asked for help from a foreign government. It, it gets worse. It's going to get worse, guys. Okay, until for like a couple of weeks or whatever. And I think once they, they, they understand that information, they be like, it's time to act. It's not like, we, you know, we're talking like as if, oh, why doesn't Mueller, you know, it's like, it's not a plan. It's almost like, how do you say it? It's not like a normal like case where like, oh, I'm a lawyer and I take the evidence and then I do this. No, it's like, there's a timeline. They're, they're worried about the country. You know what I mean? There's a weird, it's almost like, it's a little bit like emotion, you know, like, uh, not so much, it, I'm getting like an earthquake. You know how earthquakes, the thing that the, Plate, plate is always moving, right? So they call it, right? So it's like, it's always, and at some point it, it, it clashes. So they're kind of, it's not they're waiting for something bad to happen, but it's sort of like, they want an alert that it's time to do it because they feel like if, yeah. So, so, and I feel like they, if they, let's see, it's like, they read, you know, they have these several alerts, several the, the different, yeah, tectonic, plate tectonic. Yeah, they have several different kinds of alerts and like systems. If it acts happens, what do we do? If this happens, so they have all these indictments in place. Okay, and it's sort of like they're saying that, they're saying that like, you know, they're, all these people who are guilty, they have seven or eight different indictments already. Like, they're not made public, okay, but they have, they're going to release one. They could be like, oh, look, you're guilty because you lied to the FBI. That's enough. You know what I mean? And then they're slowly going to peel, 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 peel. But, but exactly. So I feel like it's just to like, how do you say it? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like it's just to, to like get it ready. Okay. And so like, I feel like Trump, uh, Trump I feel like Mueller is confident and I feel like he's already talked to the people, you know, the head of the military and everything. They're ready. Okay. So, so yeah, I feel like interesting. Cynthia, see my husband served for 30 years in the army. Yeah. I just, what I feel guys, like it's, uh, I don't know guys. I, that's what I feel like. It's like, they're prepared. Like I'm, I'm really, it's funny. I could, I should, I should be worried, but I'm not. Because if you think about what we've been through, what we've been going through is worse. You know what I mean? If it's a it's a return to order, it's much better. Okay. So, so that's what I'm. Okay, guys, that's what I'm seeing. Oh my god, it's so crazy, guys. I don't know. I'm trying to think here because I feel like I'm a crazy person. Okay. I feel like I'm crazy, right? I'm like seeing these things very clear, right? But it seems like it seems like it's unbelievable. It sounds like a movie. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's real, but that's what I'm getting. You know, it's pretty consistent, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. So yeah, I don't know, guys. That's what I feel like. It's it seems like yeah. Yeah, no, it's still here. Well Cynthia, go back to the screen audio help. Make sure you click on that because that's uh it makes it easier, I think. It's it's like I don't know what, what it has, what the difference is, but it seems to work. But that's what I feel like. I see a very how do I say is all is it scary, okay? But I feel like they have it, they have plans. They might, it can make you imagine like Trump, like one day wake up and do something and like, oh, I'm gonna do change my mind tomorrow or whatever. They have, you know, unlike Trump, they have like secure structures. Because if you can imagine, they have to be prepared. Do you think on the eighteenth? I I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I today I got a 14th. 14th is this week, right? So who knows? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, guys. So so that's what I feel like. It's like the, the amount of information they're they're giving us. All right, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have 30 seconds. Okay, just, just alerting you. So if it freezes, but but yeah, so so that's what I got. Interesting, right? Interesting. Jared, oh my God. And I feel like I'm getting, you know, I told you the thing about the, the president, you know, the, the, the idea of Obama and Bush, why them? And it's saying because I know it sounds crazy because it's so far away, like, but it's like, remember, they're like, oh, we serve the country. Like, we, we you know, we, we pledged, right? So it's like, it's not just something that you do so you can get money for your hotel or something. You know what I mean? It's like back when, like, but oh, all right, guys. 